Welcome to our tutorial introducing unlimited filters. Give your pictures a distinct look with one click. Create your own filters or copy your favorite filters from your smartphone. You can then apply these filters to your pictures, giving them any look you desire. You can also export these filters as lookup tables from unlimited filters. With these lookup tables, you can apply the same filters as adjustment layers in Photoshop or give your videos that distinct look in After Effects, Premiere or Final Cut. You can share filters that turned out particularly well with other users in the filter sharing area of our website and if you need a filter quickly, you find a great number of filters there as well. Let us now show you how this all works. Please note that lookup tables only contain values for color, saturation and brightness. Try to avoid changing microcontrasts, sharpness or effects that only apply to a specific area of the image. These might cause unwanted artifacts. If you want to create a filter yourself or copy one from another software, the first thing you should do is save a neutral filter on your computer by clicking on one of these buttons. The desktop filter is more precise than the mobile filter, but may generate more artifacts in working with microcontrasts, changing sharpness or vignettes. Since the mobile filter is also much smaller than the desktop filter, yet has no disadvantages, we recommend you preferably use the mobile filter. Only use the desktop filter when you are sure that you need more precision and that there will be no local settings when you edit the picture. As a short example, I now open a neutral filter in Photoshop. If you simply want to copy a look, you just apply the preset and then save the altered filter again. The same is generally the case with smartphone filter apps. To create your own filters, simply add a photo as a reference and then apply any effect that changes the color, brightness or the saturation of the picture. When you're satisfied with the result, you simply delete the photo and save the filter containing your adjustments. Since our filter is simply a JPEG with no special format, you can use any program that can open and change JPEGs to create filters. But back to unlimited filters. This button lets you import the filter you have just created or any other filter that you may have downloaded from our filter sharing website, for example. For now, I select these four filters. After importing these filters, they appear here on the right side and you can apply them to any picture you have opened from your hard drive with one click. If you want to, you can adjust the intensity of the filter or apply a vignette to the picture, then simply save the finished picture to your computer. Use the settings to determine the format in which you want to save the resulting pictures. Use the arrow buttons to navigate through your picture folders and give your pictures a fascinating look in seconds. A right click on the mouse or this button lets you compare the original picture with the edited picture. If you have a great number of filters and you want to sort them, you can do that by saving filters to specific folders on your hard drive. Just go to the settings to select the folder containing the filters you wish to use. As soon as you switch to another folder, the filter previews here on the right bar will change accordingly. If you delete filters with the red button, they will simply be copied to a folder specified here so filters that you deleted by mistake will not be lost. If you want to use the looks you have created in unlimited filters in Photoshop or in video editing software like Premiere, After Effects or Final Cut, you can simply save the individual filters as 3DL or Cube files on your computer using the LUT button. In Photoshop CC, you can just use the lookup table as an adjustment layer for your image. 
If you haven't added them to your presets yet, you can also load the filters individually. In Adobe Premiere, you can assign a 3DL file to your clip under Effects menu, Video effects, Color correction, Lumetri. In After Effects, you simply have to go to Effects, Utility, Apply Color LUT. To use your lookup table in Final Cut, you have to export it as a cube file, which you can load into a plugin like the LUT Utility for Final Cut Pro, for example. Have fun working with the looks, and please don't forget to share your best filters on our filter sharing website.